You know, these people are going to start thinking you're not a real dog. Holly's here. In my chair. Man. Let's go see what your brothers and sisters are doing. Well, there's my first customer. And there's Waldo. What are you doing, boy? You guys up to something out there? Huh? You already had your milk bone. Well, you already had it. Yeah, Lily had hers. Oh, Lily. Okay, I gotta, I gotta go make a movie. You're already in the movie, I know. You gotta be in the credits. Okay, everybody got their dose of Waldo. Oh, that was a little extra you said there. Okay, I gotta go water the garden. Where's Melly? You guys are out frolicking. They're out frolicking. There she comes. There she comes. What are you doing, Melly? Yeah, where were you? I don't know where you guys go in the day. I think you go to the oh, give me those heads. Give me those heads. Good girls. No bugs on you guys, huh? No bugs on you guys. Welcome to the channel, guys. We're up bright and early. You have to be. Gets too hot uh, by about nine o'clock. It starts getting hot. I think I, I went to town yesterday. I left about 8.30 and by nine, it was already smoking outside. But that's gonna, let me fix this thing. That's gonna be coming to an end. Well, briefly for a week. We're supposed to be in the 80s next week and trust me, that's a difference. And hopefully I can get out and do some weed eating and things I haven't been able to do because as you can see, we got quite the jungle. Quite the jungle. Let me see what these girls have been up to. They don't probably want this chair here. Get all this junk out of the way. What you girls doing? Yeah, been up to no good. Well, as soon as it cools down, I'm going to get out here and tear these seats down. Then you guys will just have a deck. Yeah, what do you think of that, Melly? This is their stomping grounds. Yes, your toys, you knocked that, to that toilet seat off. And that's what's covering them screws. I got to go fix that. Uh, I don't have good shoes on. All right. All right. Man, look at my walking trails, guys. <laughs> but you know what that big weed eater I got I'll get out of here knock all that down what I see this year is everything that's growing is the easy stuff to knock down I got to get those stumps out for those oak trees they just keep coming back but other than that uh, that stuff's pretty easy to knock down and every year I try to get more and more I don't see any privet coming back up not much anyway so that's good you can tell where the there's some poke weed and stuff yeah, Waddles. All right, well, I've been getting cabin fever, and I'm just going to make a, let's go over and water the garden a little bit. Let me get in the right light situation. Because you got to get out here early, otherwise you miss the bus. And the garden, peppers are doing good. Tomatoes, they're kind of dormant because of the heat. But um, I think we're going to get one more batch out of them. All right, let's go over there. Grass isn't growing. That's a good thing. Whew. There's the garden. So much work needs done. But that never ends. Might as well, Waddles wants to. Yeah, we hear you, Waddles. Junk, junk everywhere. Here we go. All right, let's get some of these guys a drink. Excuse the air conditioner in the background. I don't have the microphone on. That go, goes with the other camera. Woo, it's already humid. And like I said, next week, actually today is the last real hot day. I think tomorrow it's going to be about 97. I'll take it. I don't water these herbs that much. 
but it's been so hot you got to water every day now we haven't had rain in weeks <coughs> we're supposed to get some maybe Monday but that's only a 30% chance uh, and then I come over here like I said those these things that's not a good idea planting in them it should be flowers Ooh, I got to show you guys that wildflower that came up over there pretty cool it's still there today and basil and dill I ain't watering these a lot, just hitting them. Let me put this on full. There we go. Still no ghost peppers. <laughs> That's because they're ghosts, right? They're probably loaded. I don't see it. So how you know when you're gonna eat it? I ain't eating one of the world's hottest peppers that I can't see. It just ain't happening. So last night. Let's see, I probably went to bed. I've been having some bad, bad uh, issues with sleeping lately, man. Insomnia, bad. And when I do sleep, weird, weird dreams. The last night I dreamed I was a motel owner. Yeah. And I did a little research this morning. You know how you go to a motel and they're all owned by Indians from India? I guess that started in the 40s. And it's kind of a... Why you see the name Patel? It's like one family. I know there's a lot of them named Patel. But most of them that own motels, if you if you Google it, gives you the reasons for that. And there's only like two names that motel owners in the country will, will have. Patel and... The other one's like Marin or something like that. But uh, why do I have these dreams? All right. But that's true. Super 8s, Motel 6s. You ain't going to find a, uh, anything but an Indian person. Not that that's bad. It's, and they own liquor stores too. I've noticed that. Certain ethnicity, eth ethnic groups own certain things. Why is that? And if you think about it, motel business probably isn't a bad business to be in. I wouldn't want to mess with nobody's sheets or any of that. And they own some pretty seedy ones too. Yeah, a lot of drugs. I don't stay in motels at all anymore and I never really did. About the only times I've ever used a, a hotel or motel is when I was relocating to a new job and the company put me up and didn't really have a choice. But other than that, I'd sleep in rest areas or I would pull into a motel. A lot of people don't think of that. If you're traveling, you want a place where nobody's going to bother you to sleep, pull into the back of a large motel or a hotel and they just, you know, as long as your windows are covered and they can't see you, Usually, I never had any trouble. Yeah, you don't want to be drinking, but just a place to pull off the road and sleep. You know, that works. I was never afraid to sleep in a rest area. I would advise a woman to do that. I wouldn't even probably do it today. And that one there is dead. You know, I don't think it ever produced much anyway. There you go, doing well. This uh, shade cloth has really helped with the retaining the moisture. As you can see, I'm not giving them a whole lot. And I think the humidity helps a lot with it. You know, if it's humid, they're, they're still getting moisture. That one ain't good. Yeah, it's still doing good. Now, I do see some of them that'll, that have uh, buds on them, so we're probably going to get another dose. I imagine next week, when it goes down to the 60s at night, we're really going to get some uh, action there. Maybe the reason I'm having trouble sleeping is I've been taking two, three-hour naps in the afternoon. You think that might have something to do with it? But I like my naps. 
And I don't know what it is with naps, but boy, you have the weirdest dreams in an afternoon nap. Yeah. Kind of like going through the jungle here. Uh, is that wildflower still up? Yeah, I threw some seeds in two pots on the end. I had thrown some wildflower seeds in there and a bunch of weeds come up and I just left it alone. But yesterday I noticed there was a wildflower. Pretty cool looking one I've never seen. So hang on to the end here and we'll get to it. And I haven't, haven't been doing a lot in the house. I put the curtains back up in the office because it was so hot in there in the daytime. And that, that helped. I also bought a fan, a small tabletop fan for in there. So it's pretty cozy in there now. Get a drink, my little friends. Get a drink. Drinky, drinky, drinky. Hey, look at that one dancing. Alright, let me get through here. I got some romans to pick. Still got tomatoes coming, see? Yes, that wildflower is still there. It is cool. We'll get to that here in a minute. Yeah, these, even though there's not anything budding, it's because it's too hot, but these things look healthy on top. Got rid of that spotted leaf stuff. Just been too, it's just too hot to get out here and pick all these dead ones off. That one's all but dead. You know, this time of year you start getting tired of the garden. I do anyway. Alright, we're just going quickly here. Look at that big old... Uh, right there, spaghetti squash start to turn yellow. I can't wait to eat that one. That one's huge. There's one up in there that's ready. Not very big. That almost looks like a watermelon, but it's not. The watermelon's right there, but none of them have produced yet. Now, like I said, I didn't think it would. All right. And then plants are starting to make their way over to the netting, crawling up the netting. I think next year I'm going to get a soil test kit to so see where all my levels are. This is, uh, I've grown in this same soil for several years and it seems to get better every year as it should. But I've, you know, Arkansas. I have not had, I had better luck growing in Oklahoma than I do here. The soil is better, that's for sure. Alright, let's go around through here and I'll show you these wildflowers. Let me get these peppers watered. Let's see if I can get this hose around without kinking it. Oh yeah, see that wildfire down there? That's all a bunch of weeds, but... Ah, there's my okra. Knock that leaf off right there. Oh. What you doing, Millie? These girls have been so good, they don't go anywhere. They just hang around. It's too hot. So I notice in the evening when it cools down, they they want to play. You got to come out and play with them a little bit. Give these uh, spaghetti squash a good soaking. I think next year I'm going to eliminate, I'm not going to grow as many tomatoes. I'm going to space them out a little more, maybe elim eliminate a few pots so I got more room in there. It's just too hard to walk around. And I may get another one of them nets. Hopefully by next year I'll have uh, my awning up over here. And, and I got a bunch of heaven arrows ready. I'm going to let them go one more day before I pick them. Then I'm going to dehydrate them all and make, like I did last year, make some spice. i still got a little bit of last year's left, but we're almost out. Alright. Getting towards the end here. Got a lot of 
lot of bell peppers on that one. You can use a little extra because they are out in the sun. And that doesn't ever seem to bother peppers of any kind. They like the hot sun. Habanero sure do. Right, one more there and then we'll go look at that wildfire. I'm ready for summer to be over. That is one season I could do without. Now let's go look at this wildfire. I don't know what kind it is. It was kind of, oh, there's a couple different kinds in there. See it? Pretty cool. Little purple ones in there, but this, uh, I haven't seen them growing around here, so that, I know that came out of that seed pack. All right. What you doing? That's a good spot. You like laying on that moss, don't you? Yeah. She's still got a little scaredness in her. I don't know why. I don't think we'll ever get that out of her. But she'll come to you. What you doing? Yeah, good girl. Yeah, all your babies except for one got adopted. They're in homes. All your babies. And I imagine she's got a home by now. But I haven't heard. Miss Millie Moo. All right, guys, that's going to do it. That's how it is in the summer. I just don't have a lot going on. I need to get a video out to you guys, let you know I'm still kicking. Yeah. All right. We will see you guys in a few days. Everybody have a good one. Stay cool. Happy trails.